Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Real quick, hold up real quick. I just came to say we are at 1k and I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much. I know I don't sound my best but this video made me really emotional. I'm editing it here and I'm very emotional. So that's why my voice is sounding like this. But thank you guys for 1k. I love you guys. Mwah. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. And to all my newbies, hi. <laughs> If you are new or returning here and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss my uploads. Now, the title of this video, as you already know, is how I changed my life. You know, I'm just going to share with you all the habits and things that I changed to become this person I am today. Um... Yeah, I did jot down some points, however, I feel like I'm just going to wing it because this video is a very emotional one for me and um, yeah, i just going to, because the reason why I decided to do this video is because I do a lot of beauty things on my channel and lately I find like my channel was becoming very one dimensional it was just pennywise videos hauls vlogs beauty 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 that's all well and good but i don't want my video to just be a lot of rara -ra and vanity i want my videos to be universal for everyone a little bit of everything and i do want a beauty lifestyle video or channel sorry so yeah that's the purpose of this video to mix it up a little bit every time i come on here it shouldn't be to show you a bag or some makeup or nails you know i should also be here to motivate you give you some inspiring words and things like that so that's what this video is about basically so let's get in <music> So one of the first things I want to mention is that changing your life is a decision that you should want to make for yourself and it should be based on you. You should not want to change your life because of someone else's opinion on you or what you see someone else doing. It should be me want to change for me may want to improve for me you understand so i'm going to give you my tips and i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe how i changed my life number one i was raised in church so i can't say well i started going to church i was already in church and i was already aware and perfectly educated on the things of God and stuff like that so becoming an adult and getting into my career I sort of put that in front of you know the word of God and that was an absolute no no that is a no try your best not to do it it's easy when you're working and studying to become overwhelmed in work and study that everything else in your life starts to diminish or you fall off and stuff like that i have definitely fell off in terms of ministry when it comes to church um but however i believe that i am now in a good place with God I get up every morning and I won't call it a routine it's just a lifestyle I pray I read my Bible I speak to God every Friday for me it's a fasting Friday I fast every Friday and I either decide to pray for a certain thing or certain someone or I just decide you know what I'm not going to ask God for anything this Friday I am just going to thank god for everything that he has done for me on this friday so that's the first step your relationship with god the second tip definitely is going to be getting rid of negative people oh child 
<laughs> I won't say that I had a lot of negative people around me. I would just say I had toxic people. Yes, yeah, so they're not negative, toxic, yeah, same thing, basically. <laughs> I had people around me that did not think I would reach a certain level in life and I had to get rid of that because if you don't believe in me, why are you here? Why are you here, boo? Mm -mm. If you don't believe in me and you don't believe that me, it could be great. Why are you here? Bye-bye. Yeah, that is so serious. Get rid of toxic people. Get rid of people that speak negativity to you or about you or about your life or about anything positive that you are trying to put your hand to do. Get rid of that. I remember a few years ago there was this guy I was speaking to and we were standing up on the main road speaking and a Benz drive past and I was like ooh I have to own one of on that one day and he was like never those exact words came out of his mouth never now you speaking to a young lady that's what's going to come out of your mouth honey total turn off I'm like a Benz I can never afford a Benz now that time I was like 19 and I was turned off by that at 19 so imagine now and he was like so how you intend to do that I was like but you already said never he was like, well, you know what I mean, uh, how you intend to do that? I said, no, that's not what you meant. You said what you meant. You said never. And he was like, well, how you intend to do that? Honey, you don't want anyone like that in your life. No one. No one. Like, what is our Benz for you to buy? And that was just, like, a material thing, so... That was a huge turn off, a huge red flag for me. I got rid of his number, blocked it, blocked all social medias, everything. Because that was just a turn off, like, ew. Anyway, so that is just an example of the negative people that you want to get rid of. That, like, that's just a material thing. What do you mean, never, for me to own a Benz? Anyhow. It's like I just went back into that realm. But moving along, tip number three. Tip number three is to set boundaries. Set boundaries and don't let anyone cross them. If you say that you are not doing something, don't do it. Stick to your words. Set boundaries. Let people know there's a line and you should not cross it. So if you know like, okay, nay, you're not doing so and so. Don't do it. Don't compromise that for anyone. No is no, right? If you say you're going left, don't let anyone convince you to go right. Set boundaries and stick to it. That is where you will get the level of respect that you deserve. Stick to your boundaries. Don't let anyone cross them. Draw the line. Let them know enough is enough, right? That is that. You're not calling me after midnight. Simple boundaries like that. Don't call me after midnight. Don't video call me unless you ask me. Don't just pop up on me. No. Boundaries. Set it and stick to it. If you don't stick to it, people won't respect it. You have to stick to your boundaries. Okay? Number four is self-love. Now, I feel like I've always loved myself, but I feel like... I had to learn to love myself more. I had to learn to love myself more than I loved other people. I think I had to learn to love but near first. Become a little selfish. Become the person that you are on the inside. Let it show, right? A lot of times when people see me now compared to when I was 19 and 20, they are like, you get a real nice boy, you glow up. Why? The glow up is not only physical, the glow up was internal. I decided I am going to love me more. I decided I am going to take care of me. I decided I am not going to allow certain things, cut out certain things, set certain boundaries, change your life. For the better. For the better. 
another thing if you are a person that thinks negative on yourself or thinks negative about yourself change that don't just look at yourself and be like Ooh, my forehead big boy no my forehead is big but I have beautiful eyes I have beautiful lips I have nice hair my complexion is flawless you know don't be negative especially to yourself I know some persons I think that they are beautiful and when you hear them speak about yourself it's like ouch don't be so harsh on yourself be kind to yourself don't look at the negative look at the positive yes I might be driving a Toyota right now but at least I'm driving don't look at the fact that I'm driving a Toyota and I don't really prefer a Kia, you know. No, I'm driving a Toyota, but I ain't walking. I ain't begging no one for a drop. So look at the positive side of things, not the negative. Understand? Yeah. The next thing I want to speak about, can't remember what tip number is this, but is to let go of that job now I, very, I was very hesitant to put this in because I can't tell you let go of the job that is paying me bills but thing that I had to do to level up was to get rid of a specific job now I did speak about this on my channel I had to leave my job Christmas time I had to let go of that job because you know what I might want to fight somebody but besides that <laughs> it, and it's not not the employees and the employers you know employers that feel like they could speak down on you or try to diminish your character or look down on you because you're a certain color or certain race or from a certain country or for whatever reason, you know, and um, kudos to the jobs that pay the bills, but I, for my change of mind, heart, soul, and for my peace of mind, I had to quit my job, one of my jobs, because I was working two jobs at the time, thank goodness, <laughs> I had to quit that job just because I fell more in love with myself and my mental state of mind was more important than the extra cash. If you understand, I rather eat quail hops with butter and water every day than have bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches with chai tea and be disrespected basically yeah so it's up to you cheers to the jobs that pay the bills but at the same time our mental state is very important the next thing I want to mention is life changes and goals instead of well I won't lie I am a of habits and every year I set goals and I try to stick to them and it really gives me something to work towards something to move towards something that you know something to work towards for the new year but with it with the goal now you put so much pressure on yourself sometimes and sometimes you're just so disappointed in yourself that instead of focusing on the goal focus on the change that the goal will bring so if you have a goal like my goal was my vehicle right I've had my vehicle for a few months and my goal was my vehicle so instead of focusing on okay I have to get this vehicle I have to get this vehicle I have to get this vehicle I started to think okay me we have to change certain things to get the vehicle you understand so instead of focusing get the vehicle get the vehicle get the vehicle by a certain time but you no know, cut back on the amount of handbags you're buying me cut back on the amount of jewelry cut back on the going out for dinner cut back on certain things because you have a goal 
don't give the goal a time frame because when you give it a time frame it's when you frustrate yourself and you are disappointed in yourself if that time frame reaches or that particular date reaches and you don't have it then you become depressed it's a whole different topic it mess with your mental state mess with your emotions you can have breakdowns and stuff like that and you want to avoid that so just set the goal and switch up your lifestyle to meet the goal instead of just focusing mainly on the goal you understand i hope i wasn't confusing with that yeah another thing that i wanted to mention is sometimes life changes are sprung on us um and we just have to deal with it like I remember when my grandmother passed it was one of the most unexpected things for me My grandmom was sorry about that guys my grandmother was basically one of my best friends I could speak to her about anything and I could tell her how I feel about anything I could literally tell her anything I did not feel that way about anyone else Sorry about that guys again yeah my grandma was basically one of my best friends rest in peace and I feel as though when she passed I was in not a good place in my life I did not expect her to pass I Her passing was sudden and unexpected. Oh God, I said I wasn't going to cry, no? And I had to change certain things when she passed because I did not have that person I could tell any and everything anymore. Now thank God for my family and my loved ones at that time. The guy I was dating at that time, he was so supportive. He was there 24 7 of course my family was there for me 24 7 we were there for each other but my grandmom Ooh, granny pay skill i had to change the fact that everything that happened in life i couldn't call granny and tell her you know so who to turn to now basically it was like that turn to god he is the best i would literally pray and when i pray i would just smell her i will i know it might be sound creepy but i would just say you know everyone has their own personal smell i will smell her and i will just feel better so pray because a lot of times when we lose a loved one, it, as I said, you have, you're forced to change. So that was not a change that I expected not having my best friend that I could tell everything, but I had to. Didn't have a choice. She wasn't there anymore to call on. So, yeah, that was the final tip. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um that was the holistic part of it physical i do want to touch on that because if you know me from before you know i changed a lot physically i started exercising more i grew my locks well when i just started my locks i still used to look crazy but you know i became more minimal you all know me i wear pinks 
and neutrals <laughs> I don't do my hair often when I do makeup it's very simple very minimal I take care of myself I make self-care important I make getting my nails done important I make getting a pedicure important and you as you all heard me say in one of my past blogs I want to make facials and massages important so because self-care is very important so taking care of the holistic part is very important yes but taking care of the physical you is also very important before the lockdown I was flying with one of my friends and he literally started to insult me on how I used to look before now he was like me used to look crazy crazy he said this nail you're seeing it was not like that he was literally mocking how i used to walk and stuff like that and it was because i did not know what was going on with me you know i had to find myself i had to find god i had to start to love myself i had to start stop thinking negative and get rid of negative people i had to start doing these things to change my life and that's what got me to this place that i am i'm not where i want to be but I'm not where I used to be right so it's like changing your life for the better how to change your life these are some tips these are some habits these are some pointers that you can use to change your life and you can start today honey yes let me check my notes and make sure I gave you all, all the notes oh I almost forgot this one find someone you admire to look up to how can I forget that one? Find someone you admire to look up to. That will be the final point. I look up to my mom. I looked up, well, may her soul rest in peace now, to my pastor's mom, Mommy Louie. Rest in peace. Love you. Um, yeah, I looked up to my grandmom. Rest in peace. I look up to so many beautiful women that I admire that are great and yeah thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you enjoy this excuse me i hope you enjoy this video on how to change your life and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye